below Taurus Sun Moon rising and Venus this is your reading for the week of May 22nd to the 28th so let's dive into it first from the angels you have the message of you're ready we're gonna dive more into this and see what it is that you are ready for that they are talking about what you need to know here your second card your spiritual lesson for this week is the giveaway in reverse now the giveaway is an energy of what you give freely without any expectation of anything in return so giving a smile to a stranger a kind word a gentle touch your genuine love things like that are stuff that you give away for free and it's just the beautiful spirit of generosity but in reverse this is asking you what are you giving too much of are you giving too much of yourself to someone else in the hopes that they will like you in the hopes that they will return that energy back i'm going to read this straight from the book for you is it difficult for you to set limits on how much of yourself you give if you've if you give more than is healthy, then you will not be able to give for long. You'll feel resentful with your partner or your associates, or you'll feel like the world owes you something in return. So what this is saying is to put some healthy boundaries on how much of yourself, how much of your time, how much of your love and energy you're giving away to others if you have nothing left for yourself or you're expecting something in return. Give from a place of overflow. Don't give from your cup of fulfillment. Don't give from your cup of love and happiness. When that cup is overflowing, give the overflow to other people. Don't give from your cup. Make sure your cup is filled always first and foremost. Notice if you give for any reason other than pure generosity. Are you trying to be liked or accepted? Are you trying to heal an old wound? Start giving to yourself first and foremost. Offer yourself the care, the love, the time, and the acceptance that you are longing for. Once you experience plenty, then you can truly give to others. That is your spiritual lesson for you this week. And it's paired with your energy oracle, walking away in reverse. Now this is another one where I'm like, I have to read this for, from the book for you guys because there's no other way that I can explain it any better. This card reverse signals that you may be feeling very stuck in some present situation or location. There may be a job or a relationship that no longer resonates with you, yet out of habit or perhaps fear, you allow yourself to stay when it might be healthier to consider walking away. Mm. Habit and familiarity are compelling forces, often causing people to ignore their intuition or even dishonor their genuine feelings. This is a time of honest investigation. Consider all of the factors in the present situation. Perhaps the timing isn't quite right, and there may be some purpose in staying a little while longer. Don't deceive yourself about your motiva motivations, however. Fear-based decisions don't often work out in your highest interests. You may also be stuck in a long-term personal habit or an unhealthy pattern. Be aware that you always have the option and the responsibility to let go of any thought or behavior that no longer honors you. Whenever you walk away from negativity, you always move towards greater happiness absolutely so what is it that you need to walk away from because you are giving too much of yourself to it and it is not fulfilling you are you in denial staying with someone or something staying stuck in an old habit that you know in your intuition is not working out it is not working out how it's currently going and you're staying there out of habit out of familiarity, out of fear of the unknown, it is time to walk away. And that's why the You're Ready card is coming out. Now is the time. This week is the time. It is time to let go of all that is not working and boldly walk in to a new future that is working for you. Now, for example, if this is a job that you are not liking, this week may be the week for you to start applying, start interviewing, start calling employers, introducing yourself. The, when it says the timing may not be right, you know, it's not saying like make a bold action to just leave immediately with no other plan, but make sure that you're taking the steps. It is time to start taking the steps to leave. And if you can leave this week fully, whatever this thing is, perhaps you should consider that. Okay. So those are the energies we're working with. A lot of giving way too much of yourself to someone or something that you know is not working out. 
you know it's not working out and it is time it is beyond time for you to walk away and i really want to reiterate that phrase walk away i don't know why some things may not be worth mending may not worth be worth sticking around trying to figure it out okay listen to your own intuition though your intuition has already been guiding you. You're just ignoring it out of fear. Don't make a fear-based decision. Make a decision based out of love and intuitive nudge. Okay, so we have nine cards out for you to get further into this week, further into detail. Three rows of three. The first card out for you is the Eight of Air in Reversed. And I'm laughing because this really is a card of allowing things to fall out of your life. Look, she's literally, all of these feathers are falling away from her. She feels stuck. She feels stuck, very stuck in reverse as well. And I, I just feel like you feel stuck in, in this relationship, in this job, in this location. It is time to start making the moves that you want. Stop talking about it and just do it. Just do it. Like you feel stuck in this repeating pattern, this repeating habit, this repeating problem in some area of your life. And it is time, okay? Second card out for you is the six of water in reverse. Some things aren't worth mending. Six of water in reverse is that message. It, this is a card of like meeting up with old friends, the like really enjoying the past. It's that energy of happiness when you are reflecting on your old stories with your old friends and kind of like just going over the fun times, going over the good times. In reverse, it's like you're just repeating the same bad stories over and over and over again. And that is keeping you stuck in life. And <laughs> the message here is really clear. This is honestly a really easy, really clear reading. Everything is concise. Everything's working together and it's all coming together to say, it is time to stop repeating the old story over and over and over again. You've already tried mending it. You already tried fixing it. You already tried changing yourself to like crap fit into the situation. You're in a crappy situation. You're trying to mend yourself to fit in this situation instead of just getting into a better situation in the first place. So the message is very clear. It's time to walk away. You have more power here than you realize. It's time to stop making excuses. Stop giving so much of yourself to this situation and find yourself a better environment from which you can grow. <laughs> Very straightforward message. We have the six of earth coming out right next to that six of water. Six is the number of familiarity. It's the number of home and family. It's the number of creativity as well. I The number six is, is love. It is just feeling connected. It, it really is that nostalgic number. And having it come out twice for you in this reading in reversed, it's really showing that you, it's time to break out of your comfort zone and move into unknown territory, really, you know? Uh, that's what is gonna guide you further in life. That's what's gonna get you out of this feeling of being stuck, okay? Second row, fourth card out, we have the Ace of Earth. Look at this beautiful new beginning coming in for, me, for you when you decide to take action on this. This is a new, new money coming in, a new commitment, a new home, new purchase, something of that nature. Something really beautiful is coming in to bless you. Also, I'm kind of seeing here, doesn't this uh, symbol up here kind of look like a four-leaf clover? Four-leaf clover is the symbol of luck. I'm getting a lot of Celtic energy from this for some reason, but I'm just getting luck on your side. I'm getting new money, new commitments, new physical blessings and opportunities in your physical space that you will really enjoy. And whenever aces come out in readings upright like this, it just shines positivity into your reading. It's shining positivity into your week. So I feel like almost immediately, you're going to find something or someone that's much better. <laughs> and I know that sounds so bad, especially if this is a person that you're walking away from, but I honestly don't think that you're gonna be mourning this person for very long because I feel like you already know that it, it has been time to walk away. So I really don't think that the mourning process of this will take you forever. And in fact, I feel like you will find happiness, new projects, new commitments rather quickly and not in a bad way. It is just, you know, the energy is saying you're ready for this. You're ready to take on this new chapter. It's time. So center of your spread is the tower in reverse. I'm not surprised. The tower has been coming out for just about everyone this week the tower the world card uh they, they've been coming out a lot uh with this past eclipse season that we just had 
And with the upcoming months, you know, we're still dealing with the fallout of that. I, I was just telling this to Sagittarius. It, to me, it feels like everyone is going through some type of major loss, breakup, or ending at this time from the eclipses. And with the tower card in reverse, I feel like while most signs have already gone through this ending, I, I feel like you're hanging on. I feel like you're the straggler here, Taurus, where it's just over, you know, it's... There, something needs to end, something needs to fall apart. This isn't sustainable. And I feel like you're still trying to hang on and Spirit's saying, stop hanging on. You're giving so much of, you don't realize how much of your energy you are giving to this situation of just like holding this together. Like all of your energy, all of your creativity, all of your magnetic human intelligence is going straight to the situation and coping with the situation and like kind of gluing it together, hanging on to it. Whereas if you just let it go and let the pieces fall where they may, all of your energy comes rushing back to you and you now have all this time, all of this energy to devote to new projects, a new job, new habits. Honestly, like stop holding on so desperately to this old habit, this old person, this old thing. It's not benefiting you. In fact, it is draining your energy. So it's, it's taking more energy from you to keep this in your life than if you would have just let it go. So the example I'm getting right now is actually like an old car that you love, but it's old and it's just draining your bank account, trying to fix everything that keeps breaking on it when it would actually, you know, cost you less money to just get a brand new car in the long run, like that might be your best option. So, I mean, for some of you guys, that could literally be your example. Maybe you are hanging on to an old car and this Ace of Earth shows a new car purchase coming through. So it's just time to let go of something. That, you get the point. Sixth card out is the chariot. And look at that, speaking of cars, <laughs> the chariot moving forward in life rapidly. I, I really feel like this rapid transformation taking place for you the second that you um, decide to let this thing go and move on. The chariot talks about moving on. And I, I this has also been coming out a lot in people's readings this week. Moving to new territories for you, moving outside of your comfort zone and starting a new chapter. It's really going to bring in so much happiness for you, so much blessings and abundance. So third row out, seventh card, we have the two of air. I feel like there's this internal debate <laughs> and you, it's like, you're like, okay, yes, I gotta let this thing go. And then you start making the moves to let it go. And then your mind snaps back and you're like, oh, but all the memories and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And then and the next day you're like, nah, it's time to go. And then the day after that, you're like, oh, but it's so great. And it's like, you just gotta break out of this cyclical thing that you have going on. Like it's, it's not working out for you, okay? <laughs> Eighth card out is the ace of air, two aces, both upright in one reading, guys. This is a new idea, a new direction coming through. It's it's really great, for real. Like, honestly, I, I can kind of resonate with your reading because I got into a breakup and like right after that breakup, I started taking on all, I had the energy to start taking on all these new projects. I birthed this new YouTube channel because I had the time because all my energy wasn't going to fixing that mess of a situation. I took on all these new habits. I My whole sleep schedule changed and I'm seeing a very similar energy for you where it's like you finally let go of something that has actually been draining your energy and now you have all this energy, these resources to start new things, new chapters, beautiful new blessings coming in. I'm seeing communication coming in for you, new ideas from this new communication. So I would expect some type of new friend or development to happen amongst your social life. And with the Ace of Earth, I am seeing developments happening for you financially and in your physical health. I am seeing you focused on getting or staying healthy. Leveling up your appearance seems to be a big one as well. And just like having so many ideas for what to do in the future. Like, okay, now that this thing is out of my life, my future seems free. And it's this sense of excitement of like, okay, what will I do now? And then your final card out is the queen of water. Look at that. Look who's coming in for you. This is definitely a person coming in for you uh, in some way, shape or form. So a new employer, a new relationship, a new friend, um, a new business partner. It could be literally anyone. I'm not seeing any particular 
type of person, but this is someone who is really emotionally intelligent, loving. They just want to spoil you. They have really healthy boundaries and they're just really good for you. This is someone who you don't have to put all this energy and effort into just trying to get the bare minimum out of them because this is someone who does way more than the bare minimum. They go above and beyond for the people that they care about. That's what you're bringing in. Could be a cancer, okay? Because we do have the chariot and the queen of water just like that. So, I mean, beautiful stuff, guys. You have beautiful new people coming in who you don't have to work so hard for. You don't have to work so hard to please this person or the situation. It's just beautiful new energy coming in the second you decide to leave. So leave already. It's time. You're ready. You're ready to leave this behind. You're ready to leave this in the past. You're giving way too much of your energy to it. And you're reclaiming that energy this week straight up and look at the beautiful blessings that are coming in because of it. Thank you guys for joining me. Watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign to get a full perspective of this week ahead for you. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Bye-bye.